All right, what's up, guys? I guess this video is facing some uh, controversy. I don't know. Um, so Tyro Magnus had posted his reaction to this video, and I overall wanted to see what it was all about, like to see what I can say about it. But I guess uh, a woman in this video is saying that um, male gamers um, are not good lovers. And I'm going to have to disagree with that. I'm going to have to overall disagree with it. Because I'm like, yo, there's women out there. There's literally women out there that look for guys that plays video games. So I'm saying, like, I... There's... See, here's... And here's the one couple where I'm like... In a situation like this, um, I'm going to use them as an example. But Michael Jones and his wife, uh, Lindsay. If you guys know who they are, you should know that love exists. Even in the gaming world. So anyways, let's go ahead and see what this video is all about. Um, upload it on Joe Button's uh, YouTube channel. So yeah, let's uh, refresh the page. Because I know I had opened I this feel, up uh, earlier. I, I so, feel. oh, hold up. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys go subscribe to Joe Button. Um, I'll drop a like, uh, you know, just to show support. <laughs> Even though I, th I don't think my like is going to really mean anything. But anyways. I don't feel, I f I don't feel the warmth yet. The warmth? warmth or like the cold there's, air? There's a, no, it's like, it's figurative. Okay. There's a special warmth that comes around. Oh, so this is like, I think just something that's like signed with uh, Joe But oh, Okay, I get it now. I was just like, wait a minute, where's Joe But But no, it's like kind of like a podcast. Like, because Joe Button, I think he is like overall, he has like a network. So I'm like, I, I see what he's doing. It's around Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Oh, no. I feel the warmth. I don't feel that warmth at There's all. There's a warmth that happens. I there guess because even... you're seeing your family, like, you know what? Yeah. I don't do the decorations. Because <laughs> you're seeing the family. I don't, I don't do it. I don't do a tree. And I got a cat. I ain't got no kids. So I'm like, ain't no gifts gonna go under it. Then I gotta beat my cat's ass every time because he gonna play with the tree. So I ain't, I ain't doing no tree. <laughs> No light. Isn't there something you could spray on your tree so Bodhi doesn't just like fuck it up? Like, can't um, you put something? Isn't there something me, that cats don't like? Like a cat won't? repellent? You know to me, I mean? I'm stressed. That's already stressed me. Why All make right. my life more All complicated? Right. Oh, okay. So you're doing the tree? Okay. I mean, right. I don't do the tree till like first week of December, but like, I don't know. I just, I feel, I feel like, like I feel that like, is like the proper time to. I mean, there is, I, you know, there are people that put their stuff up in November. I feel like there ain't no problem with that too, but yeah, I, I think like the. Like the the earliest is like at some point like Thanksgiving, like Thanksgiving in that time, you know, but then like the latest, like it has to be in the beginning of December. Like if you ain't put your stuff up, then I'm like, I, I don't know me personally. I know there's probably people that put their stuff up like on Christmas Day. So I'm saying like, do do what you want to do. Live your life, you know. I ain't gonna judge, but anyways. Like I, this year has this year has taken a toll on all of the like conventional traditional things. That's true. That feels. This was this in twenty twenty or is this recorded in twenty? Yeah, yeah. Normal like summer cookouts and fucking, you know, the Thanksgiving is gonna be mad awkward this year because nobody's yeah. getting together. You know what I'm saying? And Thanksgiving is usually the that's usually my family's shit. Like we go to the parade every year. My family comes down and my mother and I cook. Like it's just a whole thing. But this year we're not doing that. I this love year. that they're doing all the Black Friday so, sales early. I don't participate I'm, in Black Friday. I'm not. I I've do. never been one of those people. I, I mean, I don't I'm not do waiting Black out in Friday. Line, so that, why yeah. you gotta call we, it Black? Here we go. Oh, no, <laughs> here we go. All right. So why I'm, you gotta call it Black? where people running around <laughs> acting like idiots <laughs> for appliances and technology. Why I gotta risk that my life black. Why I gotta risk that my life for black. a tablet? What, what, what you want it to be called if it ain't Black Friday? Call that shit Yellow Cracker Friday. <laughs> huh. <laughs> what? Yellow Cracker Wait, Friday. Yellow Cracker. You can tell somebody's a little bit, uh, angry <laughs> i just i just didn't care for it i don't care for names and all that stuff it's like overall it's like not speaking on anybody you know what hey moving on, moving yes. on. Jesus. both of us just call it ritz then i was ritz gonna say that ritz, ritz, ritz friday, friday. Ritz we friday. should call it ritz friday <laughs> we should club cracker <laughs> club cracker friday that's exactly I'm what it dead. is, honestly. It's just, it's just, it's embarrassing. Like that to me is the worst. Also because I volunteered a couple years, a couple years in, in a row, and I during um, Thanksgiving, just the whole the week of Thanksgiving, and like going to food pantries and stuff like that, and donating stuff that's non-perishable. You know, just that's cute. Yeah. trying to be active in the community, that's and then how, and to, that's how you get warm. But participating in that kind of stuff, and then watching people trample each other over a fucking PlayStation. And by the way, uh oh, yeah, I'm. I be all right, so I think this is when it all starts. But no, I agree. I'm like, I just, 
you know, like, because, though, they show, like, Canada, and the people be walking in there, single file line, be shaking everybody's hands. So, like, no, you get the TV. No, 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 you get the TV. I already got 10 of them at home. You get the TV. I don't need the TV. Like, are you sure? I'm just, I'm, I'm saying, by the way, my name is Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Like, they be like that out here. It's just all, like, you just see people pulling their pants up. i like, what's up? Like, you gonna grab that TV or what? Grab the TV. Guaranteed that, like, this, and it's stuff like that where I'm like, nah, I'm not, I'm not just, if I could get the things that I want, with none of that going on, cool, but I usually, because what, they be selling that stuff, like, or have it on sale, like, a lot earlier before, so I'm like, yeah, I get my stuff, I get it before Black Friday, I don't wait the day of to get my stuff, I'll get my stuff, like, the first Friday of November, and, because that's when they be, like, Target be on, uh, having they stuff on sale, Best Buy be having they stuff on sale, you could go online, they be having stuff on sale, so, yeah. Uh-uh. Wait, are we getting there? Uh -oh. I didn't even mean to, but it just crossed my mind. Like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with y'all grown-ass men running around <laughs> losing your minds over a PlayStation 5? <laughs> a place, a, a fucking, it's called a PlayStation. Y'all are not that serious about doing nothing else. Y'all haven't been that serious about nothing or committed to nothing else. I had a conversation with my mother, like literally so, yesterday. All right. All right. You know, I just, I because I know everybody's experiences are different, so that's why... I would say find somebody that has experienced the same things as you. So a PS5 conversation, because you're talking to a person that you can't relate to. So when you're talking to a person that you can't relate to and you're expecting them to feel what you feel and there ain't, that ain't no connection. That is no connect. There is no connection at all. Like, ladies, find a guy that don't like video games. Guys, find a girl that you that likes video games or, you know, other way around. But it's like, don't try to change a person's perspective on video games. Like, if you have your personal feelings about video games and gaming and all of that stuff, cool. But my thing is, it's like, there's people out online. Like, that's, I'm like, I overall don't know, like, what their money situation is uh with their podcast or whatever but my thing is it's like there's people out there that's literally feeding their families just by playing grand theft auto just by playing call of duty just by playing any video game out there so why my thing is is that you have your feelings about video games why should i listen to that i don't my thing is like i don't have no kids i don't you know none of that but if i did and then youtube's going really well for me why would I stop doing what I'm doing just because of how you feel about it? That's how you feel about it. Don't try to push off how you feel on other people. Nobody cares. <laughs> like, that's why I'm like, yeah, that's why a lot of people are, like, overall hating on this. Like, overall, it's not going to change her per um, perspective. She's just going to be like, sorry, I offended people out there and move on with her life. She's still going to feel the same way. Like, today. And she's like, she, she, I'm not on Facebook, so she always gives me the Facebook updates. And she's like... Oh, I I to see uh such and such he get he get a a, a play a play five what <laughs> play five what? a play five I don't know what did what it I guess he re, I read in all he comments because I'm like what's a play five and everybody's like oh will you get that oh you the man no. oh you such a great dad. Oh, like she's like going on till she could not grasp the concept of everybody going crazy over PS5. I can't grasp the Wait, concept. Have y'all, have y'all dated men? My thing were... is, is like whatever you guys are into, like that you feel like that you need to go out and get and things. So I have to say like fashion because it's like the girl in her pants. I'm like, yeah, that ain't something that you just, you know, like, like oh, I'll take my time back. Like you see it, you want it. It's like, I'm, my thing is like, you might not feel the same way like we do when it comes to games and stuff, but how you feel about something, that's how we feel about PlayStation 5s and the Xbox Series Xs or whatever you're into and stuff. But anyway, We're into video games ever? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, but in my, really? in my yeah. 20s, I'll be honest with you, not if I think of the top 10, best dicks I've ever had, they didn't play video games. So I'm convinced video games are for mediocre dicks. Well, I grew up as a gamer. So it was okay with it. That was, that was I quite, just, a, I just quite don't, right with me. I, I got I excited too. I don't know too. what grown man is spending that much time playing video There's games. There's a lot of grown men spending a lot of time and on I don't this think bullshit. That the, a lot. I don't, I don't think that you could be a great partner or a great lover no, as a grown I, man I, spending if, time playing if video it, games. If bro. you're like me and you're into gaming, I'll never forget when Ava was born, 
the the new Grand Theft Auto drop with Nico Bellic and like that was my escape and that wow. was our bonding mm. time. We playing Grand wow. Theft Auto. Oh, you were shooting the prostitutes we, and then the prostitutes. Money back. She was, she was getting all like the that. points. We was getting all the homeless people. She was getting all the homeless people. She was in Broker. We was we was we was fucking shit up in Broker City. You no. know, what I mean? <laughs> like and you know between feeding, she's taking a nap. I'm I'm on vice. Like I'm. I'm and that's I'm, another thing. Like what she's saying. Like. For some people, this is just your way of just like getting like whatever problems you facing at work, whatever problems you facing anywhere else, school, like video games be helping people. Video games be there for people. I'm saying where are these guys like when their friends is dealing with them, when they got like people out there like don't really know what they're going to do with their life. Like, where are you guys with that? Well, maybe not her because she understands, but the other two. It's like, where are you guys when your friends is dealing with it? Know where to be found. So if they fuss, if they find a video game that they like, if they find a console that they want to get, and that's there for them more than people, I'm saying, like, I can tell you guys right now, like, video games, I've been playing video games ever since I was probably, like, two, three years old. First console I've ever played on was nintendo 64 since then i've always played video games i even have a oh my own youtube channel just of me playing video games so i'm saying like i don't know these guys but i'm saying like people that i actually do know when i'm dealing with stuff they ain't there for me guess what i do i play video games i relax i take my mind off of things i sit down listen to music I'm chilling. I'm chilling for the rest of the day or for however long I play video games. I'm not saying like, you know, people, I guess like people that have a legitimate like video game, like addiction, like you don't miss the birth of your child. You don't miss your wedding day. You don't did like all the, like all these like things, important things and happen in your life just so you can play video games. I'm saying like stuff like that. Yeah, that's just video games is off limits. Like you got to, you know, put that stuff to the side and focus on like the real world and stuff. But I'm saying like, it's just like people when they taking a smoke break, it's just like people when they, you know, overall just taking a regular break, any of that stuff. That's how we see video games. So that's, that's my vice. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I, how so, many hours would you spend on that though? Like realistically? Four to six. Wow. A whole work a day? shift? Yeah. All right. Wow. It's a lot um, of missions. <laughs> here it is. There's like people out there that's just like me. I like, I play like less than that. I'll probably play for like maybe an hour, two hours the most. Like probably when I was younger, when I was in high school and stuff, like I uh, would play for a long period of time. But, and, I, and it's weird how I'm like, I got a gaming channel. So I'll probably like record like maybe a few videos and things. Cause I realized when, you know, sitting down playing one video game, I'm like, I'll play multiple video games and make a bunch of videos and stuff. Overall, I'm making money off of the game. So. <laughs> See, I, don't talk about, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't want my man coming to me like, man, you won't believe the weapons I got today. No, it's <laughs> not even, it's not, even it's not even just that. It's not even just that. I'm going to, I'm going to speak directly to the failed athletes of America. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Wow. Most of y'all are complete. Here it is, and it's it's funny how she says that. I'm all like, that's you can tell a person that just they're talking on something that they know nothing about. There's people. Then they just say that there's gonna be like a Call of Duty competition happening here soon. It's gonna be worth like 15 million dollars. I'm saying like that type of stuff. That's what gamers be aiming for in life. That type of stuff right there alone. So and if not, then like I'm saying, it helps them. It relaxes them. It's a um escape route from whatever reality that you're living in but yeah it's like it's i would say anybody that watches this video don't don't listen to what at least the other two like it seems like the one the hat she knows what she's talking about but the other two the one with the bandage pants and the jacket that's too big for her like i don't <laughs> like i'm saying like they i just you you're speaking on something that you know absolutely nothing about do some research on it like because i'm saying my thing is is it's, it's and i know people probably ask me like how did i get into video games for people that don't like video games my parents <laughs> my parents are the ones that they didn't fail me they didn't do anything wrong with me they just put me in front of a console i played it we spent time with each other that's honestly some of the most funnest times of one of my childhood is sitting down playing mario kart playing whatever games for hours hours on in with my family helping them with video games and them helping me with video games i'm saying like anyways complete trash at 2k and madden and y'all y'all are dying y'all are y'all are literally spending what should be saved in your account because we don't know next time we get a stimulus check y'all are spending <laughs> y'all hard-earned stimulus money on a place on a console a game console and y'all and y'all are trash y'all suck at sports in real life and at the video game i'm so baffled they, by they're that. living their careers through the game sis just watch your high school tapes <laughs> like 
I don't understand. Like, I just, you can't, I can't wrap my head around I spending had, six, I, seven hundred dollars well, on a video to, game console. I had to pl explain to my mother, it's, it's a status thing. I had to explain to her, oh, like, okay. you know, it's literally like when the new Jordans drop, and everybody is like trying to get it first and be the one to have it first. Like it's it's somewhat of a similar thing. And then you have the ones out there that's reselling it, trying to make profit off of it and stuff. So the PS5. They was talking on on Twitter, talking about, you know, because a lot of men are asking their women for this game. It's like how we treat so that. Them. Now that right there, I'm like, I would have to, because me, I'm that person where I'm like, look, if I got to like sell some of my own things just to get this console, I would do that. But that's just something where I'm like. Yo, if you can spot me like on some donuts or some chips in the store, I'm like, yo, I can easily like pay you back. But I feel like with that, like you got to like pay them back with your life or something, you know, like that's why I'm like, yeah, to whoever my future girlfriend or wife is, you ain't ever have to, because I know they're going to come out with a PlayStation 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then they're going to do the same with Xboxes. That's one thing for sure. It's like whoever my future girlfriend or wife, she ain't going to have to worry about. It's like, I'm getting my own stuff. You know, like, I don't need you. If you get it for me as a present, like, then that's cool. I appreciate that. But other than that, I'm like, I, that's just something where I'm like, those was my teenage years. When it's like the latest video game came out, I'm like, yo, mom, can you give me this game real quick? I'm, I promise you I'll get all A's and all this stuff. It's stuff like that. But I'm like, yeah, I um, I, I just think I'm gonna like, yeah, with that, I'm like, yo, you, you got to make your own money and do your own thing. But yeah, I'm, it's uh, anyways, back to the video. Say what I need to say on that. Like, damn, men can't want for nothing. But this is something that I guess a lot of men want. So they want their significant others to buy it yeah. for them. I literally, so I, guess it's the same I way saw my, my friend in his IG stories <laughs> put his <laughs> PS5 in, in, in a seatbelt, like wrapped it in a seatbelt and said, right. taking, taking my child home. Yeah, problematic. Yes. That's problematic. Y'all yes. gotta yes. do better. Y'all gotta do better. Hey, Shane, just, what's up? It's whack. I just, <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Sorry, Shane, that's dumb. I'm you glad. are so dumb. You are so real. dumb. I'm so glad I got an old man, because I feel like uh, when he was I growing up... Oh, I think it's hilarious. I, I don't think they had video games when he was growing up. Oh, so no. He don't, you know, no, I mean, no, no, he's, he's not that old. He's not that old. Did he have Atari? I mean, he might have had a Sega Genesis, because Sega was fire. Don't forget Sega Genesis. Or, or the original that, like, 90, 94? Well, Sega originally came out maybe like the late 80s, but it, it popped off like Sega 92, Sega Genesis 94. was like 92, 90, yeah, like 92, I feel 93. like he was out when Game kids Boys, actually went like, around. He had Game Boys. Game Boys were cool. You know what I'm saying? Before he they definitely had, had Nintendo. Nintendo like, that's a given. I, I had who didn't Nintendo. Have, everybody had Nintendo. Everybody had Nintendo. He's almost Nintendo. 20. So my thing is, it's like, you guys played video games. So how are you going to speak on somebody that's like, you? if you guys stop, y'all stop. But if people decide, hey, you know what? I'm going to keep going because I like this. This is cool. I like this. Now, as the time progressed on, like, video games did get more expensive. Consoles did get more expensive. So I can see why people would stop getting into it. Honestly, I was like, when I went out and got the Xbox myself, I was all like, why did I do this? Like, why, why did I? I was happy because I was just all like, you know, cool. I got the new console and stuff. But... Other than that, I'm just all like, yo, why did I... But I'm like, at the same time, I'm thinking in my head, like, yo, YouTube, like, millions of videos that I can record, a bunch of this stuff. So, yeah, I'm like, I have a reason to get my stuff, but I'm not just... My thing is, like, I wasn't just going to get it and not do nothing with it. I'm, like, going to put it to work. I'm going to do something with it, so... Nintendo came me. out in 85, so, yes, he had Nintendo. He definitely had Nintendo. Well, I'm a gamer, y'all. He, no, he, was, he was playing Duck Hunt. He for sure was playing Duck I Hunt. I love Duck Hunt. Yeah, I see. Ain't gonna, oh, look at the little dog. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could shoot the dog. But no, I always wish we could I, shoot okay, the dog. Okay, I guess I ain't gonna talk much shit then about y'all video gamers. <laughs> I mean, I understand for some people. I just this this the craze around this, especially in the climate that that the economy's in, the way every it's like we don't the people that really have it don't even really have it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like this is what this is what we doing. Come on, man. Everybody got their vice. Everybody got their. I don't women even think it's. I don't even think it's about. I don't even think it's PS about a you, vice. Do y'all do y'all think PlayStation didn't read the room? Is that what y'all saying? No, I don't. Why I don't would think it's they? That. It's they, capitalism. Honestly, we, this, it's them our, reading the room live. and understanding that this is the perfect time because everybody is at home. Sorry, you good? A, <laughs> not this net. Not it's the net. The one. I almost got it. I almost got it. You almost got it. I'm a I'm a notorious bug killer. I I, feel, I saw oh, we I know saw, we I'm, talked about the fly. Like, it was I, it was a mosquito. Oh, mosquitoes. notorious bug. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Not mm -hmm. notorious. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the notorious bug killer. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, so but you yeah, out here clapping yeah, that, flies, was, that was my getting, rant, guys. Sorry. Getting mad at people for playing video games. You could tell she's like the Joe Button of that uh, trio. <laughs> like watching her, I was just like, you getting angry for what reason? <laughs> like yeah, I could tell. Yeah, like, she was she's perfect. She is perfect for that channel. But 
anyways, um, yeah, I just, uh, um, I'm, I'm like, I wanted to like read some, oh, uh, JD Witherspoon, um, John Witherspoon's son, he commented, I respect the gamer chick on the right, yeah, we all do, we all do, but, uh, um, Black Sands Entertainment, they said, spend 60 hours a week playing video games, make half a million selling comics, as an indie publisher inspired by video games, y'all wish y'all had been like, <laughs> it's like, I'm saying, my thing is to say, people make a living off of this, like, let's just, there's the one guy, uh, named Dream, uh, hold on for a second, or, uh, let me go on Social Blade real quick, because I know he's, like, one of the biggest, like, gamers right now on the internet, uh, yeah, here we go, Dream made, and he makes an estimated monthly earnings of $36,000 to $582,000, and he makes an um, estimated yearly earnings of $437,000 to $7 million. That man, in the last 30 days, has gotten 145 million views, all right? And subscribers, and he's gotten 1.7 million subscribers in the uh, past 30 days. I'm like, this man has grown a whole channel in the past 30 days. So my thing is, is like, he's making a living. He's, he's, I don't know if he's set for life, but overall he's set. He's good. He's straight. He ain't got to worry about nothing. So my thing is, is like, why is there a reason to be mad over some stuff like this? Like you got people left and right making money off of this, doing what they can, providing for their family. Literally, there's other YouTubers that I know that do have um, family. They do have kids. Speaking of the one, uh, the Michael Jones guy, I think he just recently had a kid or he had a kid some time ago. But there's other friends of his. Um, there's the one guy that was a part of, um, that's a part of Achievement Hunter, uh, Jeff. And he, I remember that was one thing. I don't know if he has any other kids, but I do remember he has a, um, a daughter. And I do remember how he was, uh, there was like a trailer for a video game that came out. And the trailer got him like really emotional. I think it was yeah, Dead Island, Dead Island. And uh, it was like, and, but he overall was talking about how he has a daughter, but he plays video games himself. And I'm pretty sure that man got his uh, daughter through a school, amazing, maybe a private school. I don't know. But I'm saying like, you can do things with like the games that you have so i guess like if you sitting around playing it then i'm like you know either way like whether you're just sitting around playing it because i almost was about to say like you know okay if you're sitting around playing it i can understand but no 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 retracting that what i just said retracting that i ain't gonna say that if you playing games to escape from you know a bad reality that you're living that's fine if you're playing games to overall you know provide for your family that's fine you know, but and I do remember there was a one time where I had to disagree with like a gaming addiction because the guy, I it was like it was a Reddit. I remember I did like a podcast episode about it, but it was this uh, um, Reddit story that I read where the guy was like he was um, mad at his girlfriend. I can't remember what his girlfriend did, but he like got up and put hands on her. And so that's why I was just like, yeah, you got to just stop playing video games. But then he was all like he apologized and was just like, oh, yeah, I'm done. I ain't going to play video games no more. And I think I um, towards the end of the story, I ended up reading like that. Um, the girl woke up in the middle of the night to go get something. I don't know. But um. Yeah, her uh, uh, boyfriend was sitting there playing video games, so he just waited until she went to sleep. And I'm like, yeah, that's a, like, that's a legitimate video game addiction. That is. But me, on the other hand, I'm like, to speak on myself, to speak on somebody that's been playing, I'm 24 years old, to speak on somebody that's been playing video games for literally like 20, like, like either like what, like uh, 22, 23 years of my life, I love it. I love everything about it, from the Nintendo 64 all the way up to my Xbox Series X. I love every moment. I love the moments I've cried. I've loved the moments that I was happy. I love the moments where I was making memories and, like, friends halfway across. There's people that I met, like, across the country. Um, there's people that I met across the country uh, that lives in Florida. I got, like, a tweet and it distracted me. But, yeah, there's, like, one of my friends, he lives out in Florida, and I met him through the friends I went to school with, but then there's, like, people that I even went to school with that I became friends with playing video games. Like, we bonded. We've made memories off of that stuff. So I'm saying there's literally, there's 101 um, reasons why a person plays video games. For you guys to sit there and judge somebody and call them failed athletes, and here it is, they're actually turning it into, like, a 
thing, like their tournaments and stuff. There's like people that's making bank off of these um like video games and stuff. I'm like, that's just not. It doesn't to me it just doesn't make any sense. I'm like, y'all don't know anything about this stuff. So it's like you guys can't speak on it. You guys can't talk about it. And maybe if you guys would have said that, like, hey, I don't know too much about this, but this is what I've just picked up, maybe, possibly, potentially, people wouldn't have been hating on your channel. But now it's like, yeah, you guys, Joe Button, he's probably a he's probably just having a uh he's either having a field day with it. Or, um, he's just, he hasn't posted anything talking about it. I don't think he has. I was like, yeah, I would love to see Joe Button's response to it. Because I feel like Joe Button, he'd probably be playing video games on the low. So I'm like, yeah, it's like people that you probably are friends with and that you know. You're over there judging them for playing video games. Like, look, I play video games. I love it. If y'all don't like it, hey, that is on you, all right? I'm willing to, like, you know. Because my thing is, it's like... For people, like, you know, when you're dealing with some stuff, are you going through it and things? Like, especially during this pandemic, like, especially during the pandemic where it's like you literally have nothing, nothing, okay? Like, there's nothing there for you. There's nobody that's there for you. The the only thing that you have, and I'm not trying to sound like a fanatic or I'm, like, crazy and madly in love with video games and stuff, but when you don't have nothing at the moment, you know, like, it's either just gonna, it's one of those things, it's like, you know, you gotta pray for and wait on it and all that stuff. At the moment, I'm not gonna look at my video games and be like, yo, I can't play you right now because I'm I'm dealing with some stuff. Like, if I turn on a of any video game, you know, and I start playing it, because I'm like, one of my favorite, I was telling, I was talking about that in the live stream last night. One of my favorite, like, one of my all-time favorite genres of playing video games is racing games. So if I could just sit down, relax, listen to music, play some racing games... I'm chilling. I'm chilling for like the next like hour, two hours, possibly three. Who knows? But if to any like future girlfriend, wife, like you try to like take that away from me, either we got to have a discussion about it or we just got in the whole thing. But I'm saying it's like, that's why I'm like, yo, if I could just like meet, like pray on it and stuff like God, if I could just be a woman that likes video games and she understands where I'm coming from. OK, we can sit down and make gaming videos together. I would appreciate it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because I'm saying like, I don't understand why it's a problem, you know, like with whatever you're into. I'm like and my thing is, it's like to talk to those girls, like imagine that you're into into something, right? And a guy's all like, oh, he's just like, let's say if it's makeup or something, because it looked like they had the, um, the one girl, especially the girl, the, 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 the woman Joe Button, it looked like she, you know, was wearing some makeup. I don't know, couldn't tell. But um, yeah, let's say like, you know, you're into makeup or you're into fashion or you're into whatever you're into, right? And there's a guy that you meet and he's just like, oh, that's stupid. Like he's just bad mouthing it left and right saying, oh, that's like that stuff that you're into is for children. It's for people that's like you shouldn't be at your age fooling around with stuff like that. Imagine how that make you feel. You'll be bad about it. Right. So that's how we feel. That's how we feel. So it's like like what you like, but don't judge other people or put other people people down for not liking the same things that you like that's what I was saying in the earlier in this video, like find somebody that likes the same things as you. But don't try to judge somebody for what they're into and stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Joe Button TV. Um, I don't think, because uh, this was uploaded a while ago, so I, I highly doubt they're getting any hate or any stuff from this. I would like to see what their responses was to, because they, yeah, it's, they're getting some hate and over it and stuff. So I'm like, I would love to see their response to it and things, but... Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And peace.